It's a huge moment for the cold case division who say that they have either identified or are close to identifying every unknown victim that have DNA evidence. And for the victim's families, it's immeasurable. There are many stories to be told at Marysville Cemetery. Oh, he was nice to everybody. One man buried here in 1977 had an unknown story. He was labeled John Doe until now. It makes me feel really good to be able to get some answers for these families. After 45 years, Blaine Hastricks has been identified after being found in the Marysville landfill. His sisters and brother and them, I, all the years, they all you know, passed away too, so he really didn't have no other family left that. Blaine's cousin, Verl Red Tomahawk, is one of his only surviving family members. They live on the Standing Rock Sioux Tribal Reservation, where Blaine grew up. They say they can bring him home because of the Snohomish County Sheriff's Office. They were persistent in doing their work and they finally paid off for them. They identified him. Blaine was identified through the DNA analysis firm Othram. So there's always hope. Even after 45 years, these cases can be solved. Alice Lou Williams was the other now identified victim who went missing from her Lake Loma cabin in 1981. The sheriff's office coming a long way with genetic genealogy. We've ended up solving five cases that we had evidence left at crime scenes and now we've solved another 10 cases or more uh, that were unidentified bodies several of which were homicides and a few of them that were not. Red Tomahawk says they still haven't found justice, but at least they have these answers. You know, even though he's passed away, you know, at least you're being brought back to the homeland. According to Othram, they work with the Washington State AG's office to solve cases around the state. As far as funding goes, it comes from various sources, from federal funding to crowdsourcing. I'm Kristen Goodwillie, King 5 News.